Hey guys, it's DT, and I've been waiting a long time to make this video. For over eight years, I've been watching Evan and Jillian build these cool Lego sets, and today is the day I finally get to build one of my own. We're building the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. This is set 76126. It's recommended for ages eight and up, and it's 838 pieces. In this set, you get six minifigures. You get two Chitauri, Rocket, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Thor all in their Quantum Realm suits. We saw the movie the other week and it was awesome. I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but if you are going to the movie just to see the Quinjet, you might be a little disappointed. The set looks really cool. We've got Thor flying in the air. We've got Hawkeye shooting some studs from his cool vehicle. And we've got Rocket with a little blaster. So here's a look at the back of the box. On the back, we've got some of the cool play features. We've got a cannon that can come out of the back of the Quinjet. We've got a cool little ATC that Hawkeye can ride on his stomach. And it looks like we have a little compartment where Thor and Hawkeye can play patty cake while Rocket watches. Okay, so let's open this up and show you guys what you get. Okay, we've got bag five, bag one, bag four, bag three, bag two, and of course the instruction booklet and stickers. Okay, let's get building. Okay, so here we have the completed Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. Let's start off with the minifigures. So first off, we have two Chitauri, and it's nice to get some Chitauri in this set because in the other sets, we get a bunch of Outriders. There's some cool printing on both the face and the back of the head. Uh, we've got some printing on the chest, and we also have some printing on the back. There's no printing on the lower part of the body, and it would have been nice since the Chitauri do have quite a bit of leg armor. They do have this nice blaster that is composed of a bunch of different pieces. Next up, we have Clint Barton, AKA Hawkeye. Like all the rest of the Avengers in the set, he is wearing the Quantum Realm suit. He comes with a bow and arrow and also a bunch of arrows on his back. His hair, however, is not how it is in the movie. I don't want to give too much away, but we've all seen the trailer. He has the shaved hair on the sides. This one has two faces. We've got like a normal face and then one that is slightly angry or confused. Okay, moving on, we have Thor. Again, he's got the white Quantum Realm suit with the black gloves. He has the same hair sculpt as Hawkeye, except his is a light brown. He's got the mustache and beard going on. He has an alternate face and he has his possessed lightning eyes. And of course, he is holding Stormbreaker. Next, we have Black Widow. She's got the Quantum Realm suit. Her hair is in a ponytail. She's got an expressionless face. And then we've got the angry face. She's holding her light up batons. And the last minifigure we get is Rocket. So Rocket's got the Quantum Realm suit. He's got the same torso as everybody else, but he has the short legs because, well, he's short. He's also got a rubbery gray tail. The head is actually connected to the shoulder pads. It's all one piece, and he is sporting a very large gun. Okay guys, so that was a look at the minifigures, and now let's take a look at these bad boys. So before we start with the Quinjet, we also get this cool little thing. It is uh, like an ATV that you ride on your stomach. Uh, it's a little bit awkward looking, um, it looks sort of like a little toy in that it's got this like weird like L shape. We've got some all-terrain wheels up front and we also have this extra thick wheel on the back. Uh, that one doesn't roll as well. We've got some red tail lights back there. We've got these knobs over here that really don't serve any purpose other than looks. Um, you can take them out, they're not actually connected to anything. So they have no structural function. Here we have some handlebars. We've got two little stud shooters up here. Up front, we've got a smooth piece with also this little uh, windshield. There is not really a seat. 
It is just this smooth piece right here. So Hawkeye just grabs on like this and lies down on his stomach. That's how it looks, guys. He kind of rests on that pad, but not really. Uh, his legs kind of hang off the back. I don't know if this vehicle has ever appeared in a movie, and if you guys have seen it, please let me know what movie it's in. I want to check it out. I want to see somebody actually ride something like this. I was playing around with this, and you can sit him up if you go like this. And there you go, bam. But that makes it kind of front heavy, and if he's riding along, he's most likely going to tip it over like that. Actually, he can see where he's going when he's riding like this. I'll show you guys how this fits into the Quinjet in a little bit. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the ultimate Quinjet. I think LEGO has made some other Quinjets, but this one is the largest, so I guess that makes it ultimate. I have to say, this is a pretty cool build. This one is recommended for ages eight and up. It wasn't too difficult to build. There are a bunch of small pieces. Nothing an eight-year-old couldn't build. Okay guys, so here we have the front of the ship. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be lasers or guns or lights, but we also have two stud shooters on either side. Right here we have the cockpit, um, just opens up rather easily like this. And inside we have one seat where you can put one minifigure and we have a little screen with the Quinjet on it. So we will stick Black Widow in here. She will be piloting today's mission. There she is, and just close her up. There we go. Moving back here, we have a second cockpit area. We can just lift this one up right here, and this piece slides open like that. We have two seats facing each other. We also have a screen on either side, and we also have a fire extinguisher. Inside, there's actually a hallway that leads up to the front cockpit which is nice, it's not just a solid wall that you can't go through. There are several clips on the inside where you can put weapons or tools. This space also opens up to the cargo hold in the back. So let's see, I will take Ant-Man that we got in another set and we'll put him inside there. And he can talk to Nebula who we got in the compound battle. So the two of them are having a conversation. She's holding her big sword and that can actually fit in there with no problem. So here's a look at the top view of the set. On the sides here, we have these wings that can go up and down. So you can either have them up like this or angled downward. Really the only part of this wing structure that can move. The front does wiggle a little bit, but it's not really supposed to be posable. Here we have the Avengers logo on one side and on the other side, we have A61, which I guess is the model of this Quinjet. So back here, we have little rotating fans. I like this dark blue and orange color scheme. These fans do feel a little flimsy. Uh, they're just held on by this Technic pin. You know, they might have worked, except they actually use this exact piece in the compound battle as a satellite dish. As I mentioned, there's a lot of smooth pieces back here. Uh, there are some studs right here that you can stick different things on. Um, same as up on top here. So we have the twin engines in the back. There are some uh, orange pieces that just fit in there. You can actually pose these engines in different positions. You can have them going up like this or down or parallel to the ground. On the top of each engine, we have a sticker. We also have an Avenger sticker on the side. Here's a look at the bottom of the Quinjet. Nothing too interesting here to see. There is no landing gear on the Quinjet, but it does have a nice profile and it does sit flat on your table. And finally, back in the rear, we have this cool six stud shooter. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. You probably already know. I think we have one in the compound battle. But the cool thing is it actually fits into the cargo hold, which is right here. You just pull this door down and take this and it goes right inside like that. And it just fits right in there. To take it out, we just pop this thing down a little bit, pull it out, 
and bam, fire away. So if you guys haven't seen this shooter, it basically works like a little machine gun. So you just turn it. Okay, and now I have to go search for those studs. So you can actually store your little motorcycle in here, like so. Just rolls right in. And then the gun can go in right after. Close it up, and you're off. Here's a view from the back. We have some cool little vents. It would have been nice to maybe have some detailing here or some smooth tiles to match this right here. But who looks at the shit from the back anyway? So we open that up. Pull our gun out, slide our car out, and here's a look inside. We can look all the way down through the cargo hold, through the little meeting area, and we can see Black Widow in the cockpit, all the way from the back, which is really cool. There's also some space in there if you want to put other things, other figures. Just leave the little ATC out of it and use it to transport all your Avengers. So let's load up the stud shooter. You can't go to battle. Whoa, I just shot myself. So when you're loading the stud shooter, you want to make sure you don't turn the cannon. Otherwise, you might shoot your eye out. So we can't end the video without having a little battle first. So I've got my Jatari right here. See if we can take them out with some stud shooters. These guys are going to be pretty front heavy because of those big guns. We'll see. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, and bullets just deflected right off of them. Okay, let's bring out the big gun, see if we have better luck with that one. Here we go. Oh, you guys are in trouble. In order to aim downwards at something, um, you can't really shoot it straight out because it's gonna hit this part. So uh, you're gonna have to like go in for like a, a dive, a nose dive. And then, uh, oh, 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 we got him. We got him, oh. Oh, I think I got one out of six, uh, and he still didn't go down. So I have an idea. Here we go. Let's uh, get our thing. We need a driver. It's ready. Three, two, one. Woo! So there you go, guys. That was a look at the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. I had a lot of fun building this. Mm, you guys are no match for the Ultimate Quinjet. Hey, <laughs> hand it over. No way. I built it. I'm going to keep this one. I said, hand it over. Uh, okay, here, boss. Well, at least I have you, little guy.